Okay, has this ever happened to you? You find yourself holding two shirts, not knowing which one to choose. You take a long time to pick one of many travel destinations. However unexpected it may sound, I have some riddles that can teach you to make the right choice faster. They may seem simple at first, but don't relax, it's just an illusion. Your results will show how well you've done. Number 1. Trick or Treat A detective entered a restaurant and witnessed a heated argument between a waitress and a customer. The waitress claimed that the man had ordered a steak and was now refusing to pay for it. The customer, in turn, denied ordering the meat, saying he was trying to save money and came an hour ago just to drink some coffee. The waitress kept forcing the man to pay for the steak. The detective decided to interfere. He addressed the waitress. You know very well that this man couldn't order a steak. If you don't stop this argument right now, I'll have to take you to the police station. The question is, how did the detective realize the waitress was trying to deceive the customer? You had to be very attentive to the smallest details to crack this riddle. The clock on the wall shows the time, 6.15 p.m. But the sign claims that you can order a hot meal only until 3 p.m. If the man had spent only one hour in the restaurant, he obviously came way too late to order a steak. Number 2. A difficult choice Thomas was a traveler who needed to get to Town Z. At some point of his journey, he reached a fork in the road. He didn't know which way to pick. Only one led to the town. Luckily, he saw two men standing nearby. The problem was that one of them always lied, and the other always told the truth. But Thomas didn't know who was who. Even worse, the men were quite unfriendly and agreed to answer only one question. Which question should it be? The only way to find out the right road is to ask the men, if I asked the person standing next to you which road led to town Z, what would his answer be? The liar would point in the wrong direction. The man who always tells the truth would also point in the same wrong direction. This way, Thomas would just need to choose the other road. 3. Hidden Sweets There are four cups on the counter, all of them upturned and hiding the same number of sweets underneath. Near each of the cups, there is a sign that says how many sweets are under it. The signs are 5 or 6, 7 or 8, 6 or 7, and 7 or 5. Only one of these signs is correct. The question is, how many sweets are there under each cup? Since only one sign is correct, the right number can appear twice. Otherwise, more than one sign will be correct. That means that there are 8 sweets under each cup. 4. Stolen Money An elderly man and his wife lived in a big house with several servants. Once, the wife got ill, and the man left her $100 on the table to buy medicines. After that, he left home. But when the woman was about to go to the pharmacy, she couldn't find the money. Three people were under suspicion. Martin the cook, who confirmed that he had seen the money. He added that he had put the bill under a book so that it wouldn't get blown away by the wind. Dora the housekeeper, who said that she had found this money and placed it between pages 2 and 3. And Gordon the gardener who stated that he had seen the money sticking out of the book and put it between pages 1 and 2 instead. The question is, who stole the money? It was Gordon. Pages 1 and 2 are on the opposite sides of the same sheet. You can't put anything between them. 5. A game with coins Right in the middle of a party, two guys, Eric and George, started an argument. 
The reason for their disagreement was a beautiful girl, Blair, who hosted the party. Both guys liked her, but she wasn't interested in either of them. To distract the boys, Blair invented a game. The winner would have a chance to go on a date with her. The rules were simple. Eric and George had to sit down at a perfectly round table. They had coins to cover this table with. The coins couldn't overlap or hang from the side of the table. The first player had bigger chances to win if he placed his coin correctly. The winner was the player who covered the table with the coins first. George was confident in himself and let Eric make his move first. The question is, what strategy Eric should choose to win? Eric has to put his first coin in the middle of the table. During his every next move, he has to mirror the competitor's move. This way, George will run out of room for his coins faster, and Eric will become the winner. 6. Who's left-handed? Look at the picture attentively and say which of these men is left-handed. It's the waiter. It's easier for a left-handed person to hold the tray in the right hand and deal with the food and drinks with the left dominant one. 7. Memory loss Clark got into a car accident and lost his memory. When he came around, his doctor told him that he had two pieces of news, a good and a bad one. On the bright side, <laughs> Clark was supposed to recover his memories. Unfortunately, not all of them. After the man was released from the hospital, he went home. Clark lived alone, and his house was equipped with an alarm system, but he had forgotten all about it. When he entered the house, he unknowingly activated the alarm, and security officers immediately arrived at his house. The only person who could switch off the alarm was Clark, but he couldn't remember the code. After some time, the man found a note with some hints about how to crack this code but nobody could understand what those hints meant. That's why the security service sent in their man, Henry, a specialist in codes. He read the note attentively. The first password consists of five numbers. The first number is three times bigger than the fifth. The third number is smaller than the second by three. The fourth number is bigger than the second by four. Three pairs of the numbers add up to 11. The question is, which five-number code Henry has to enter to switch off the terribly loud alarm? The code is 65292. The only way to figure it out is to use the substitution method. This way, you'll come to the conclusion that there are only three suitable pairs of numbers adding up to 11 and meeting all the other requirements. 6 plus 5, 9 plus 2, and 9 plus 2. 8. A trapped coin. You placed a coin into an empty bottle and plugged it tightly with a cork. How do you remove the coin without breaking the bottle or taking out the cork? You need to push the cork into the bottle and then shake it to make the coin fall out. 9. Mislabeled boxes There are three boxes. The first one contains only red balls, the second only yellow ones, and the third contains red and yellow balls. All the boxes are mislabeled, and the labels say red, yellow, and red and yellow. You're allowed to take just one ball from one of the boxes. After that, you have to say which color is in which box. The question is, which box should you choose? Pick a ball from the box labeled red and yellow. It's mislabeled, and if you grab a yellow ball, you'll know that the box labeled red must contain mixed balls. 
This way, the container labeled in yellow will contain only red balls. You can apply the same logic if the ball you pull out of the mixed box is red. And now, the results. I admit that these riddles were extremely trying and needed a lot of mental effort to crack. That's why solving even one of them means your logic is up to the mark. Still, if you manage to crack three or more riddles, you have outstanding logical and observation skills, which is bound to help you in work, studies, and everyday life. Are you saying you crack five or more riddles? Then you're a real genius! It seems there are no unsolvable problems for you. By the way, which riddle turned out to be the hardest for you? Tell me in the comments below. Hey, I got stuck on number 6. Whew. Hey, if you learned something new today, then give the video a like and share it with a friend. And here are some other videos I think you'll enjoy. Just click to the left or right. And remember, stay on the bright side of life.